is Minding Your Business, the show for very, very diverse entrepreneurs. I'm your host, June Middleton. Our guest is really a special guest this evening. He is an artist, he's a producer, he's an actor, and he's an entrepreneur. His name is Sean Etc. McLean, an all around talent and entertainment and business package. Etc. was at the Grammys earlier this year and was interviewed on the red carpet by CBS. Let's look at that. Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and I am here on the red carpet with CBS.com and I am here with Etc. Yes, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you Tyler? I am living the dream, you look incredible. Oh, thank you, thank you, I'm, I'm, I feel incredible. I so feel you are no stranger to the Grammys, what are we expecting this year? What are you looking forward to this year? Well this year I'm looking to, for the album, right now they're making a big deal about it. They're comparing it to the Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. My album's called A Character and for me as an artist, that's a big deal. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean, that's iconic. Yes. Yeah. So when they said that, when the magazines came back and gave me that, they automatically said, you have to do the carpet, because they set me up for... Well, you're, I'm glad you're here. Um, who are you excited to see perform tonight? Any any surprises that you're hoping to see, maybe? I'll be honest, Sam Smith. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I don't want to be biased, but I've been a fan. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. Um, what are your favorite tracks on the album? Any 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 ones that you want to work with, or uh, ones that you wish that you could have been a part of, the production-wise, or a, a duet, perhaps? Well, if he needed um, any rap music, any hip hop, I would have done anything he asked me to. Do. I would have did "Mary Had a Little Lamb" if Sam Smith <laughs> would have sang it. Yeah, okay, so but, the, Sam Smith's probably your dream collaboration. Then, right, right. who else would you love to collaborate with someday? Um, most likely Rihanna. I would, Katy Perry is a definite must. If I had a, it would be Katy Perry, Sam Smith, and then probably Sia. Oh my gosh, yes, I would love that. So what, if you're, if you're such a huge fan of Katy, what did you think of the Super Bowl performance? Do, do you, you loved it? Do you want my I, I, need, I need everything, yeah. Give me the full expression of what happened when you saw it happen. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. You were just screaming yes at the TV? Yes. When she came out on The Lion, I was like, I got to get one of those for Christmas. Why didn't you show up to the Grammys in that? You should have you wrote it. <laughs> the security wouldn't let me do The Lion. I tried the same thing. It's, yeah. it's fine. It's all right. Plus, I have the you know, certificate and all that. It's all right. I'm having okay. a good time. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for stopping to talk to us. So you are the best. Uh, if you could give any piece of advice to the people at home that aspire to get into the music business, what would you say to them? Um, stay true to yourself. Do what you feel in your heart because people are going to feel what you feel. Because believe me, for every song that you do from your heart, there's a probably a million and one. And thanks to everybody that's even let me do what I do. Of course. That is fantastic. That is just great. And I am delighted to have him here on the show. And I am pleased to introduce to you Etc. Performing from his latest CD, Sin City. See, I thought I had a best friend, but I guess I had to think again. I knew we would do some things, but it was more like sink or swim. I took you everywhere I went. You were there for me, heaven sent. All that past is irrelevant. I cherished all the time we spent. All that rough sex after arguments. Right, right. You did what you had to do. And, and I did what I had to. It's nothing that we proud of. It's just stuff we had to go through. I've been watching the signs, but they were hard to find. I'm trying to see things straight, but they were out of line. You gave me all your love, now you take it back. Running the circus wide, now look at where we at. Who cares if you don't? Who's gonna love me if you won't? I don't know. Maybe I'll find love right here. Since it's all up in the club. Since it's looking for some love. Since it's Talk about it. Right. First, this room is getting kind of crowded. 
Your heart used to shine through Now you show me no light like a power outage I don't know who you are no more And I'm starting not to care no more I can't put my heart on line It's gotta be more in store How can you switch like that with no course of action Of course I'm asking Hate love at the same time multitasking Now I'm buying drinks that I can't even pronounce With girls giving me needs that I can't even pronounce Who cares if you don't Who's gonna love me if you won't? I don't know. Maybe I'll find love right here in Sin City. All up in the club. Sin City. Looking for some love. Sin City. Sign up for this. I'm not ungrateful. A lot of guys will sign up for this. Girls at every turn throwing me conversation, saying they like my pencil, but they love my penetration. Read your blogs. I'm a hot commodity. No matter who you with, shit, they still ain't as hot as me. In a city of bright lights and fast cars, everywhere you turn, girls asking, is that yours? In a town where it's 12 to 1 and it's 12 to 1, my kids is on the pillow, and my back is my eldest son. You think you're too hot? Then somebody else will chill. Cause what you won't do, somebody else will. Who cares if you don't? See, who's gonna love story me if you won't? I don't know. Fantastic, fantastic. Please come over and join me. Come on. Just get up and give you a big hug. <laughs> You're terrific. Thank you. You're terrific. Thank you. Thank you so terrific. much. Come sit. Oh, that was great. What a treat. Please introduce these wonderful backup singers, especially this lovely, beautiful young lady. Oh, that lovely, beautiful young lady right there is Lotus. She's best tenor in the world. Yeah, then you have my man terrific. James right here. Hi, awesome. James. Yeah, he has, see the jacket? The jacket sets everything off. <laughs> and then you great. have my man Ty, Big Ty. He wants me to call him Big Sexy, but I don't know if I should grown man should call another grown man Big Sexy. <laughs> I'll call but him Big Sexy. That's big my man, sexy. Big Ty. <laughs> Well, you are all terrific. They are wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much for them having so much. them here. Yeah, I this appreciate is, having this them. Is, this, this is great. Well, let's talk to you, though. Oh, uh, yeah. You have a really exciting life going on at this point. How did you get started? Um, I started off as a, you know, a poem writer. Then I started off as writing for other artists, and I thought that was, that was my you know, my, my, my love. And then um, someone told me, you know, if you wanted to make music you want to hear on the radio, or if you wanted to hear the music you want to hear on the radio, make it yourself. So that's what I did. It, just like that? Yeah. I had a lot of help from people in the industry, but just like that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And it's impressive, impressive. Now, did you come from a musical family? Well, yes. Um, my, my uncle Mike, he was a, a bass musician. He was a guitar bass player. Mm. Um, my uncle Leon was a vocalist. And, you know, I have some family that did a lot of um, DJing. My uncle Steve used to DJ for the Fat Boys back in the days. So mm -hmm. I was exposed to it a lot. Uh, 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 well, you've done a lot. You remind me of a budding Will Smith. Oh, that's like one of my one of my <laughs> idols. Will Smith was one of my see yourself where you want to be. Yeah, yes. Th that's what it's all about. Yes. Now, but 
one of the things that is impressive to me, you are also an entrepreneur. You know that's one of my favorite <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, and I'm sitting here looking at these lovely black boxes, oh, yeah. and tell us, this is your fragrance line? Yes. It's a fragrance line called Black Dress. Um, we That's started very it sexy a couple of years sounding. Ago. Yeah, I had, I had a song called Black Dress, um, and it did extremely well, and I said, you know, since it was female-based, I said, I want to do something for the increase in my female fan population. Yeah, well, I know that you have a video clip. Yes. That shows um, from the female standpoint, I'll say, <laughs> yeah. what this fragrance yeah. is all about. And why don't we take a look at it? Sure. I'm, I'm sure that uh, we have it here. She can go without her purse. She told me she can go without her jewelry. She told me she could even go without her makeup. But she told me she can't go anywhere without her black dress. Black dress. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that definitely speaks for this, and I'm going to. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that Thank you. is very nice. Now, is your um, fragrance strictly e-commerce business? On you sell it, uh, it's only distributed online. Well, no, it's actually distributed in um, twenty-seven stores. Oh, okay, and, that's great. Right, <gasps> and also wow, on. it's a lingering scent. Yeah, that's a nice scent. Now, you have also though had the lead role in a movie. Right. And did you, did the ladies get to uh, receive Sample gifts the of your fragrance as well? <laughs> That's no, okay, you no, don't have no, to answer no, that. No, no. But uh, I'd like you to um, tell me a little bit about your movie. You had the lead role. Yes. And was this your first acting? Uh, yes, it was my first acting role. It's a movie called Black Heart. Mm -hmm. um, a, a nice gentleman, his name is um, JT, uh, John Thomas. He actually. Mm -hmm put me into it, he's the agent, he casted me for the role, oh. and they put me the first, I was playing a gentleman named Shane, Shane Davis, he mm -hmm. was um, a, a, a artist that was stricken with type two diabetes. Oh. So I had to go through the process of meeting the actual artist, or uh, really? an actual person, mm -hmm. and I went through, he, he not only had type two diabetes, he also had stomach cancer. Mm. So I had to depict that person pull that out of me and become that actor, which mm -hmm. actually had us win like five awards. So. <gasps> and I believe we have a clip. So oh, why yeah. don't we look at uh, oh. the clip of that movie, Black yeah. Heart, and... Ooh. Sometimes I wonder if I was meant to be here. Mr. Davis, Mr. Davis, do you understand the treatment that you have to go through? It's a heart disease. It's called cardiomyopathy. It's an enlarged heart. You have the heart of a 70-year-old man. Listen, Jimmy Fender. Who's that girl right there? Sasha? Yeah. Yeah, Sasha. Ask her if she's interested in modeling for you. So, um, are you seeing anyone? I'm seeing a few doctors. Does that count? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I've been trying to get with this honey named Sasha, but that's about it. Why? You consider and give me a chance? Do you trust her? 100%. Never trust a woman. I don't even trust my wife, 100%. The bitch is inside me without shame. So what's the problem? I thought she is part of the group, isn't he? He's sick, Sasha. He's dying. Oh, oh, that was dramatic. You're yeah. clapping for yourself, yeah. I'll clap for you too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really felt it, I really felt that part. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it came across. Yeah. It came across, what was it like doing uh, a movie like that? I mean, this was your first venture into yeah. films? Yes, it was, it actually was. Um, I had a lot of help from 
certain actors like my co-star Anita Clay, mm -hmm. Kenya Cagle, they really helped me, Stephanie Walker, they were coaching me along and I, I claim, I actually attribute, not I claim, I attribute all of that success to them people right there. That's nice. Those three amigos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you have to remember those who've helped you. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. That's because they remember helping you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they won't let me forget it. No, they will they not. They won't let me forget it. <laughs> well, the, the main thing, though, on your very, very full plate right now right. is your latest CD. Right. You have an album, et yes. cetera, character. How did you come up with et cetera? Um, et cetera is a long story, but I'll give you well, a short we'll version. Well, let shorten it. Yeah. The, short, <laughs> the short version oh. is... <laughs> <laughs> the short version is, et cetera, depicts the type of music I do. Like, I can't put myself in one category. Mm -hmm. So, et cetera, stands for so forth and so on, and it covers all bases. So, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, that's very yeah. clever. Yeah. That's very clever. And how long did it take you? Because um, I've heard that the album is doing very well. Yeah, it is. And how long did it take you to put it together? Did you um, record it on both coasts or just here in New York? Or? Well, I recorded it here. I also recorded it in New Jersey. Um, me and a wonderful producer named Fran Sean Corbett. I call him Fran Am. Trizzy, ah, ah, ah. He, um, he was very instrumental in coaching me through the album. I got some very great features on there. My man UG, formerly of the Cellar Dwellers, you know, and I just want to say it's, it's, it's a great project and I'm glad that Scope Magazine said that it was the, um, compared it to the Miseducation of Lauryn Hill. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. now are you uh, performing much from uh, the, the album at this point in um, concerts and well, right. We did. We did the Grammys. We did the pre-Grammys. We did shows out there. Um, I did. I just did, and I'm still doing the, the, the June Middleton show right now, and Ooh. I'm gonna start the tour um, March 26. And, and do you know how long we've been trying to get this going? Finally, finally. Yeah. We have yeah. gotten to the point where we are doing a show. Yes, I am so proud that I'm here today. Uh, I was not. I when this album came out, I was absolutely so delighted proud. to have you. This is a thrill to me. It really, really is. I, I'm loving it. And the album which we we have right here is that also on your website? Is it available on your website? The um, I am etc. dot com. The album is available worldwide. We didn't actually put it on the website. Oh. But we actually put it a link to where the album is available on the website. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. And how is it uh, primarily, uh, what's the distribution like? Is it, well, the I, distribution, as I said, I've heard it's doing very well. No, the distribution is doing extremely well. Um, big shout out to Tape Music Group, um, Idol Music Group. It's, um, we're doing, it's physical copies and mm -hmm. in stores and it's online. Oh my gosh. So people are actually, and people can actually buy it at the shows. Now, did you uh, produce, write, arrange many of the pieces that are on the album yourself? Well, since I'm a writer, I wrote some of the oh, songs I left on the that album. Out. Yeah, sorry. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a writer, so I wrote some of the songs on the album. And you know how they say a doctor shouldn't operate on himself. Yeah, I didn't write everything on the album. It depends on where he's operating. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't write everything on the album. I had got some great writers. Mm. Mr. Corbett had brought some great writers in. He's he brought some great producers in. He's a great producer, so it all came together because, you know, we're very good friends. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we had our tug of war, but, mm -hmm. you know, we ended up winning the battle. Oh, that's great. And a very successful one at that yeah. because uh, I've I mean, listened to the album actually wow. several times. Wow. And I even pictured um, routine dancing that could be done to some of the pieces on the album. And it's it's really very good. I like the, the beat, the the, the the fullness of it. Oh. That's that's what I like. And uh, I really have enjoyed very much listening to it. And to have you here oh. doing pieces from the album, that is really a treat for not only me, but for our viewers as well. Th so thank you. That, that, it's that, great. That's a great compliment. Oh, please. It's, a, no, it is. It's the truth. Listen, I'm a humble individual. That's a great compliment. <laughs> Listen. Well, okay, we have then gotten to that point that, I, I mean, I love talking to you. Yes. And 
hearing what you're doing, mm -hmm. but I'd like to hear one more piece from the album, oh, sure. if we could. So, um, if you just go over to the mic, oh sure, if you will, All right. and after you get there, go ahead, just tell us what the um, name of the piece is that you're going to do. Um, the, ne the next name of the piece is called The City of Churches. It's the first record off the album. Mm -hmm. um, there was dual singles, Sin City and City of Churches. And City of Churches is another name for where I'm from, um, Brooklyn. Really? I was wondering about the connection. And yeah. you're, you are a Brooklynite. Um, yeah, City of yeah. Churches is another okay. way of saying Brooklyn. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So um, if you don't mind, I'm going to get a little Brooklyn on you. I'm going to Go right you. ahead. My great pleasure to introduce to you singing City of Churches, yeah. etc. cetera. You know, thought I was going to let you go ahead with this, right? See, see, I do this I here. Do this here. Yeah. See, see, I rhyme. You put words together that just sound the same. See, see, we don't speak the same language. We don't talk the same numbers. Matter of fact, we are not on the same level. Get it? Uh, Etc. was back on his pin game, so you might get knotted up like a big chain. You boys don't understand what the men saying, so you better whisper to your twin like the yin yang. Now I'm back on my grizzle. I think you better back up a little. I need space, right? I work these flows, I birth these flows. I bet cheddar every letter is better than yours. See, I'm more like a savage. I can't control my saliva because I spit more than average. I don't care if you missing a roof. You better care if I'm missing a booth. That's when the 01 etc. start to resurface. So you better recall your best 10 verses. I'll take it back to my ancestry because kids, I write rhymes that even sometimes impress me. You call for the beat, so I brought them out. To rip to your team and let you sort them out. Come on, you not my equal hitter, you not my people, so what we need to talk about? You call for the beast, so I brought them out. To rip to your team and let you sort them out. Come on, you not my equal hitter, you not my people, so what we need to talk about? I'm not a thug, but I know thug dudes that keep that thug mentality and stick to them thug rules. Stay suited up like six shades of gray with access that I touch you from six states away, huh? Boy, I own my crap, I'm in a zone, so I write every rhyme like it's my last. That means I put my backbone in it, unlimited, and still got track for minutes, huh? I got skills that'll tear you apart, this is not 106 in park. Turn the cameras on. Friday at the tunnel, next night at the Muse, call a state, cause this is straight verbal abuse, huh? Oh my God, dude, I flow above others, have double XL, rethinking those fresh name covers. I'm from the borough that breed rap stars. I'm from Brooklyn, son. Just thought I'd remind y'all. You called for the beast, so I brought them out. To rip to your team and let you sort them out. Come on, you not my equal hitter. You not my people, so what we need to talk about? You called for the beast, so I brought them out. To rip to your team and let you sort them out. Come on, you not my equal hitter. You not my people, so what we need to talk about? Oh. oh, wow. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, that is Brooklyn. Love yeah. it. Sorry. Love it. Love it. Come jump back in. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, please. the chain got to hit the table. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you know something? This has just been, believe it or not, we are running out of time. Oh. And it just has gone so quickly because, I mean, here you are a producer, a writer an actor, an entrepreneur. You have all kinds of things going for you, which is just absolutely, it, it is so impressive. It really is. And I want to thank you so much for being here on the well, show thank you this evening. Thank you. It has definitely been a pleasure. And I also would like to thank Ed, our director, and also my son, in case yeah, you didn't know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, for directing this show. And thank you to Julius. And thank you to, I always get her name wrong, Farusa. Close? OK. And for their wonderful work on the show this evening. This has been a really special thanks that has to go out to Rich, 
here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network for really making all of this show possible. It just is such a pleasure to do the show. So you have been watching Minding Your Business, the show for very diverse and talented entrepreneurs, including your wonderful backup singers. Yes. They're terrific. Yes. I'm your host, June Middleton. Please join us again for another terrific show and see yourself where you want to be. And in the time we have left, I would love to hear more about what did you do at the Grammys and where do you go from here? Are you going on tour? Well, um, what I did at the Grammys was we actually, you know, my publicist, um, Strictly Industry, they actually did a whole, a whole big um, campaign about the album. So really? Actually, yeah, so we're actually going to be coming back to L.A. to do more, more performances, do more sit-downs with magazines, do more sit-downs with TV shows. Um, the tour starts on the East Coast. And consider coming back here as well? Oh, yeah, we got, we, 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 we have you one more You put that show. on your schedule. Yeah, we, yeah, it's going to be a hectic schedule because we're really, my manager, Dave, is really going to kill it. He's going to kill it. Um, we're actually going to go to Las Vegas and perform Sin City. Um, we're going to do the tour on the East Coast, and we're going to have a great time with this album character. Oh, I'm as, glad. You know, I'm glad to I'm hear that. I'm looking to put it into movies uh -huh, um, uh -huh, uh -huh. and soundtracks. And, and, um, and as I said before, you're coming back to do another show. You, yeah, um, don't, 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 don't skip over that. You know what? I am going to come back here to do another show. I got two more songs that I need to do. I'm going to do your favorite song off this oh, album. Oh, great. Yes. Great. And I look forward to, to see what it is.